The University of Fort Hare in Ellis recently hosted Cricket South Africa's inaugural under-16 talent camp. To have a program here, it's a wonderful thing. Fort Hare is a university that is in the deep rural areas um, and it's got the rich history in terms of the leaders that have come here, leaders like uh, Matiba, um, Mangosu Tugutelezes and, and other leaders. Um, so now there's huge history behind the university. We are very proud of the program that Mumfineke and Gum runs here at the university and also this is where black African cricket is, is nestled. The university's cricket facilities were recently upgraded with generous assistance from Cricket South Africa. We also wanted to show off to, to, to the other coaches that, well, this is what we do in Alisa because now the guys, they, they didn't have an idea of uh, where Alice is and what's happening there. And now they're very impressed in terms of the facilities and, and the program that we run. Bringing together 28 of South Africa's most promising young cricketers, we asked organisers what this camp is all about. These guys that are here in 2012, we are already plan planning ahead for, for the World Cup 2014. Our other camp started at 17, and so we decided to have these under 16 camps to prepare the kids. And when they hit the under 17 camp in the Talent Acceleration Program, they hit the ground running and they will be well prepared. Becoming a complete cricketer is just not about bowling, batting or fielding. Um, it's about being mentally tough, uh, working on your, on your skills outside cricket. And I think once you sort that part out um, as a cricketer, um, your cricket will look after itself. It's not just about cricket, because that's only one part. When they truly, when their lives change, it will be about reaching the highest heights for themselves as human beings and then literally reaching down, using those gifts that they have to bring about positive change for the communities they serve, reaching out and changing other people's lives and, and, and having an influence on the greater South Africa. We need to start creating the leaders whereby when they go there on the park, You've got 11 leaders, not only just one captain. Just as we are impacting their young lives, hopefully they will then be able to give back and impact other people's young lives. And hopefully one day some of them will be a young person's hero. And they will too be able to inspire, motivate, encourage and enthuse another young person to begin to dream for themselves. So how was the camp made possible? At the moment, this, this camp is, is, is fully funded by out of the Cricket South Africa funds. To be here is actually a big thing, that my province has confidence in me to bring me here so I can showcase my talent. And it's a big learning curve for me as a cricket player. It's a wonderful opportunity for the boys and I hope that they're going to make use of this um, opportunity because there's, there are very good coaches that are here. And, and at the moment, the youngsters have been asking questions. Uh, of which is a good sign and we try and make sure that we prepare them for, for the future uh, because this is where it starts at the moment. So what are the objectives of this talent camp? Currently the 2012 World Cup is going to Australia, the, pick is, the team is picked already and we've got one African um, that, is, that has made that team going to Australia. So for us, to, if you want to wanna really think, talk about the, the demographic of the country, it's important to plan ahead and the players that will make that team in 2014, we should start grooming them now, we should start uh, exposing them to that level so that when it comes to selection time, when it comes to the 2014 World Cup team, we pick the best out of Canada 19 going forward. I think the greatest challenge is, is belief, because many of them have, have, have no belief in themselves. Confidence is, is another issue. So yes, they've got here, but do they believe they can take it a step further? The mental toughness of these players needs to be exposed in terms of they need to understand that when, when, when you get it, when you play at the highest level, it's not about how well you bat or how well you bowl, it's about how mental tough you are in terms of going to the next level. So the mental toughness and, and the mental preparation for these guys, it, it's vital for us going forward. We use experiential learning. We play games, but we teach things and we, we then debrief after each game. So we, there's a purpose in everything that we do in the games we play, there's a purpose. And it's, it's, it's really having that synergy together as a team. Do you understand the challenge? Mental toughness and discipline, those things will take you fine cricket. 
if you set a goal, write it down and know what you want in life and go for it. Don't let anything hold you back. I have been so impressed with what I've seen in these young men. I've spent time with every single one of the young men on a one-to-one -one basis. I've worked with some of them in, in the team um, uh, and I really see incredible potential. We've got guys working with the vetters, uh, trying to help them out technically to make them aware of what they do wrong and to try and rectify that themselves. You know, So I think the easiest thing to do is telling people what to do and uh, I think the idea is, is, is in such a manner that we're trying to teach them to teach themselves on how to sort of rectify themselves while, while they play. To have some of their heroes investing, some of their heroes speaking to them, patting them on the back, saying, go, you can do this, has been a phenomenal thing. These guys walk the road and they, they really, and they've, they've done so already, could impart uh, their skills and knowledge to these kids. We ask them what are the challenges that the boys are facing and they've put them down and it's exactly the same challenges that we, we faced, myself, Makaya and Victor. Uh, but we changed those challenges into positive things and now it was surprising when you know even now the guys are still experiencing those challenges and, and Makaya just you know spoke to the boys and you know it was a wonderful session and it's a great opportunity for the boys. We've got Mufuneko who's, who's, who's running this project here at Fort Hay. Um, he's got a lot of experience. He's a guy that has played for, for South Africa. He knows what he's talking about and I think just to, to get him around um, that sort of setup automatically already gives him a lot of confidence. These youngsters are very uh, fortunate uh, because myself and Makaya and, and other cricketers, we've never had this opportunity when we were growing up. Um, we, we've had it hard. I understand where they come from. I understand their background more than anyone else. You know, so for me to be part and parcel of that, it gives me that great pleasure to make them understand that sport is not just only for the certain individual, it's for everyone. I think it's a good experience because I've never met a Mr. Ngam before and I've met Mr. Antini, so I think it's a good thing, sir, because we've learned from him and also Mr. Victor and Peter, very good brothers. It's quite cool, I will say, because these guys, they've made it, so we look up to them. Just how important is fitness? One, go! We often see many kids, not, in, not just these kids, many kids that come to these camps, there are certain uh, fitness tests, uh, certain standards, and they actually, they struggle, they struggle to keep up because they don't understand the techniques. Right now inside, the guys are doing their fitness tests, um, they've shown the exact techniques for each particular uh, fitness test, uh, like your setups and your burpees and your sprint repeats. So, but when they come next year, they will not be in awe. They will, they, know, they will know that they are expected to do certain fitness things. They will have, they will be better at their fielding techniques. They will understand that that, that we expect of them to, to show leadership in class, to get up and talk um, and, and be part of discussions where before, often the kids just sit there and they, and they don't participate. They've tested what is required at the under 19 level because everything that they do here they are exposed into a minimum um, national under 19 level. Well I think it's quite tough on them and it's, it's meant to be quite tough on them because the regional camps are tough and, um, and so we're we deliberately making it it's tough but at the same time giving them the support they need to be successful in the future. Come on boys, you can do it! Come on. Fitness. I need to work on fitness. I want that's more important than anything else in cricket. I'm very involved in my own province and I find that when they expose only later on, they're not quite equipped from, from a psychological or emotional perspective. So for me, it's so awesome to be able to be involved at this level where we're actually preparing them emotionally and psychologically and also we can pick up challenges that they're having as young people. Every single one of us as, uh, as human beings have baggage, but it's have we been able to deal with that baggage. So part of the process is learning to deal with that baggage and Cricket South Africa have placed a, a tremendous value on these young people's lives and said we want to help, we want to empower. They already have so-called the, 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 the fundamental basics of batting and bowling, so we need to make sure that we create um, that, that, that platform for, to grow them from the mental point of view.
for me it's a good thing because now I'm also looking for, for cricketers that I'm going to track um, in terms of um, the university. Yeah, so the guys that I will just keep on my database and I just check how they're doing, you know, so that when they finish their metric and then I can easily go to them and say, listen, I want you here. So please make means and plans because, you know, I'm, I want to work with you for three years. Camps like this, um, I think we should really um, congratulate Nils Mombek, who's the who's, who's man behind this whole initiative. And I think it's important also for us that to, to increase the base uh, or broaden the base of our African players in terms of, um, of, of looking ahead in 2014 and 2016. Because at the end of the day, it's all about creating a first generation of quality African cricketers. So that at the end of the day, when it comes to, to the final selection of the team, at least we can choose from the base of, of, of a, a, a number of, of quality players. Sport can make a difference. He has done it to us, that he can do it for them as well. We have 28 kids here that are all talented, but also it's, it's evident to us uh, in which areas each particular kid will be needing help, be it uh, on the field, off the field, um, do they need extra support at their schools. Um, so I'm very excited that we're on the right track and that we will look back in a few years' time uh, to this camp uh, when some of these players come through and play for their franchise and hopefully the protest as well. Whatever happens in these 28 young men's lives, they will never be the same after this weekend. They've rubbed shoulders with some of the biggest names. They have, they have sat and spoken. They have played together. I think some of them have, have, have cried uh, and maybe got sick um, after some of the fitness sessions. Um, but they have worked. They will never be the same. They have been changed by this experience. If we get more involvement from, from corporate South Africa and sponsors to help, we can have more of these camps. We can take it down a level where we might have regional or provincial camps. But I mean, as you know, the, these camps are, um, it's, if you don't have a fund, you can't have it. I think it's, it's well led and you always have to look to the leadership of why things are successful. But uh, I'm not saying uh, the, we've reaped the fruits yet. You know, that you're still trying to water the vine and, and hopefully uh, you know if we do that right there will be you know, there'll be you know good fruit to be to be reaped one day.